Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol HMNY. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like a few weeks worth of time, it's actually just the past two days broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time frame thing does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Not a very good day at all. I'm not going to say the entire chart's ruined, but uh, the, the bulls are starting to lose control here. Things are starting to spin out of control back into the bear's favor, but it's not quite there. And I'll explain what I mean by that. Uh, but a couple, first thing, a couple updates, going to go ahead and do a little house cleaning, get rid of that. Sure, it pertains, but like I said, from a presentation standpoint, I don't want to risk causing confusion and clutter because there's lines everywhere. So let's try to keep this as clean as possible. The first update, though, does come about from a foundational rule in charting, which states when levels of support are broken and closed below, they do tend to act as resistance. So 65 cents going into today was that level of support, but now that the price is broken below it, uh, this would be considered uh, you know, a, a shorter term area of resistance. So if the price does consolidate and then start to bounce back up, that first key break, uh, hurdle that the bulls will need to cross, again, right there at 65. Very, very important level though is down here right around 59, 60 cents. The reason that level is so important is I'm not saying this is what's gonna happen, but just explaining kind of the rationale here is if the price gets down there and then worst case continues to sink to the downside, at that point in time, what would you have from the overall chart perspective? You would literally have the price right back to where it was during these low points of the move. And not to insult your intelligence, but price movements that go back to where they were, not exactly a sign of true genuine strength, right? Like I said, I'm assuming I state the obvious when I say that. Now that hasn't happened yet, and that's also why I say the bulls do still have a chance because technically speaking, the price could come down here, bounce around, and then start to work its way back upwards. And then from the, a grand scheme of things perspective, well, you'd have a set of lows there, you'd have that low down there, you picture these as stair steps, well then, hey, fine. The overall stair steps are still progressing in the upwards direction. Uh, so that's still in play, but like I said, things are getting a little shaky here for the bulls, so they need to kind of step back up. So we'll see going into not only really tomorrow, but early next week, whether or not you know the 60 cent area gets tested, and if it does get tested, can it hold? That's definitely the big question mark going forward, so let's see what happens with it. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.